The ANC Women's League elective conference is underway at Nazareth in Johannesburg today. The structure's former president, Batabile Lamini, is seeking re-election, and she's up against Temme Gamkunu and Sisi Tolashe. More than 3,000 delegates are in attendance, and President Sora Maposa is expected to close those proceedings. Reporter Moloko Moloto is covering the story and joins us this evening with the very latest. A very good afternoon to you, Moloko. I mean, there's a number of closed sessions that are happening uh, at the moment and that have happened throughout the day and uh, at all ex there are expectations that we will have some form of finalized leadership list uh, by the end of uh, the uh, conference will that be today or tomorrow what is currently happening and what do we know in terms of a finalization of that leadership list Hello, Rafiwa Mazena. Well, just a short while ago, somebody made an announcement via the PA system here, essentially calling on all the delegates to go into the plenary hall. She is saying, I unfortunately do not know who that person who made the public announcement is. However, she is saying that uh, delegates must come into the plenary so that uh, they can get uh, a presentation on elections. I'm not too sure whether that uh, would uh, be about uh, the nomination of uh, the uh, uh, candidates who perhaps could have met the threshold from the branch nomination, because you would understand that uh, before any conference there would be a process at the branch level where the rank and file, the ordinary members would nominate people that they believe ought to be leaders or stand as candidates and they would also nominate the delegates who will represent that particular branch. And uh, ordinarily you would know even before you come into a conference as to who are the names that perhaps could have met the threshold to stand as candidates on the ballot although there would also be a process even at the, in the plenary to allow those whose uh, nomination can uh, be made from the floor. At this point in time, we still do not know who are the candidates that have uh, met the threshold from the branch level. And Afiki Lembalula was asked that question, the Secretary General of the African National Congress, and he says, look, yeah, we are here now. We still do not have it. However, the conference is continuing. We would expect that uh, at some time today, those names ought to be announced. However, when we speak to some of the people who are closer to this province, they are indicating that it is likely to be a two-women race between CCC Tolashe, who is uh, 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 the deputy minister in uh, the presidency, as well as uh, Tembe Gantunu, who is uh, also enjoying much support. So those we have spoken to indicate that uh, um, the former president of uh, the ANC Youth League, Batabi Lezamene, did not uh, manage to get enough um, nomination from the branches. However, she still stands a chance if she can convince those who are here to nominate her from the uh, uh, plenary. Of course, this is not official. This is just what we have heard from several uh, people who are close to this uh, particular process. We have heard, of course, uh, the opening of this particular, or uh, the tabling of the political report by Bale Gambete, the uh, uh, former Deputy President of the Republic, who's been appointed by the ANC NEC to be the convener of uh, this national task team of the ANC Women's League after it was disbanded several years ago when uh, Batabile Lamene was still the league president. She was talking about the importance of uh, really doing away with the stereotypes uh, when it comes to gender roles, the societal expectations, and uh, what uh, the boy child might believe to be the role of women in society, talking about the fact that uh, women must uh, be given equal opportunity. And uh, obviously they have an opportunity now as the women's league to elect a leader of uh, their choice because for the longest time they have been led by people who had been appointed. 
obviously, Balagambeta, having spoken about uh, the fact that the ANC has been riddled by factions from uh, the, the Polokwane conference, saying that this is a matter that is uh, well known. And we continue, obviously, to see when you go to each and every conference, emotions tend to be high when it comes to preferences. We have also seen that playing out at this very particular conference. The two senior leaders of the ANC uh, provincial ta ANC Women's League uh, provincial task team in the Northwest uh, province uh, going at each other's throats, physically fighting among themselves over the whole issue around uh, the delegates who supposed to be here, who is not supposed to be here. And obviously that speaks to the influence, the interest that uh, people have as to the outcomes of this particular conference. We heard Figil Mbalula when I asked him earlier to say, is he aware of that particular fight? And he's saying, yes. Uh, already the ANC's uh, disciplinary committee, National Disciplinary Committee, is seized with that matter, and those uh, two uh, uh, leaders uh, will certainly be disciplined. And uh, wh whoever obviously is wrong, the ANC will have to pronounce itself after following that particular process. But let's listen to him, Figil Mbalula, as he is talking generally about issues of discipline within uh, the ANC and other structures such as the ANC Women's League. Comrades, there is nothing wrong to differ. But don't differ in that in the Makeleku, Ningamaka, Bainto, Ezinganango. You must remember that after this conference, even in our differences of leadership, we still need each other. You must never differ like there is no tomorrow. It is fine. Uh, Maloka Maloto, he also spoke a little bit about uh, red zones uh, in his address to the delegates today. Uh, explain that to us and what exactly it was he was referring to here. And this I'm talking about uh, Figile Mbalola. Yeah, just be before I do that quickly, Rofiwa, the Secretary General of the ANC, Figile Mbalula, as uh, according to that bite, he was obviously speaking in the plenary from the podium, but there was a media briefing um, earlier today, and that's when he was uh, fielding the questions regarding this issue of uh, discipline or indiscipline within uh, the structures of the ANC, but also specifically about those two senior leaders from Northwest who were fighting among themselves. Yes, the issue of uh, red zones. Um, he, Figile Mbalula, spoke uh, about uh, what uh, he says was a remark by the former Treasurer General of the ANC, Mr. Um, Matthews Posa, saying that he is aware that Mr. Matthews Posa is saying the African National Congress is being led by thieves, saying that that is not true. The ANC is not being led by thieves. However, he acknowledges that uh, there are people who have an interest uh, saying to an extent of saying that uh, these people, they, you will never see them doing door-to-door uh, campaigning for the ANC. However, when it comes to the elective conferences of the ANC, they are there. He says these people even have money. But he also spoke about uh, the women, challenging the women in the ANC, Women's League or in the ANC broadly, saying that they must take a stand when a woman who even if uh, that woman is not in the African National Congress but is holding a position of responsibility, citing there uh, Professor Pule Lingabula, who is the Vice Chancellor of the University of the Land, University of South Africa, but also Mamocheti, Professor Mamocheti Pake, who was until recently the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Town, saying when people such as those are under what he calls an attack, the ANC Women's League must stand up to say no, do not do that. It must stand up to, say, to protect such women. Ironically, it was Figile Mbalula who recently has been launching 
a, a, a criticism against the suspended public protector advocate Busisi we Mkwebani. This is despite the fact that uh, there is a parliamentary inquiry that is going to find whether uh, Busisi we Mkwebani is fit or not, or competent or not to hold that particular office. But if you listen to the criticism, public criticism of Figile Mbalula, you can already tell that uh, he doesn't uh, really believe in her abilities. And he, ironically, he was telling the women of the ANC Women's League to support women while he has been out criticizing some of them. But maybe let's listen to him, Baluda, when he was addressing the delegates regarding this whole matter of uh, the red zone. ANC people, you must know we are in a very, we are in the red zone now. There's no time to be thinking about 2027. Let's win power. This thing you go to that thing must not preoccupy you now. There are people in this ANC who don't do door to door, who don't do anything but cut and then a conference. You will never find them in a door to door, you will never find them. And the Ababantubane Maliman. They've got a lot of money. In my case, it is as long as a comrade. We will resolve them. Esinazo. The ANC is not led by thieves. I'm concluding now. I hear comrade Matthew Posa saying the ANC is led by thieves. The ANC is not led by thieves. Lokomoloto, thank you very much for that update and do keep warm. It's uh, rather cold this time of year in the south in particular. That is reporter Molokomoloto bringing us the very latest from the ANC Women's League elective conference currently underway at Nazrek in the south of Johannesburg.